I shared in one of the earlier services about a man that I met on the street a number of years ago and he was walking down the street and you could tell he had not bathed in a long time. His hair was all matted up and he was talking to himself. His hands were going and his eyes darting back and forth and I saw him coming down the street and I just said, good afternoon. He stopped and he said, who said that? Who said that? As he was looking up there somewhere. I said, it was me. I just said, hello. He said, why did you speak to me? I said, because I saw you coming down the sidewalk towards me and I just said, hello. He said, no one has said hello to me in six months. Why did you say hello? I said, because I saw you. He said, I was just thinking to myself when I got to the end of the street, I was going to walk in front of the MTA bus because after all, no one knows that I'm on the planet. No one knows I'm alive. I have no family. And he said, but you said hello. Why? We sat and we talked for hours as he began to share his life. He was a very educated man. He had, had fallen on some hard times, went through some very difficult, tragic things. And he began to just unload and share his life. And he went into the mission, took a shower, got some food, and began to think about possibly moving in a different trajectory for his life. Many times we think it's what we have to do. God is already calling. He's already drawing people. He's already speaking to them. The Holy Spirit has gone before us and he's already reaching out to those who've been appointed to be heirs of salvation and he's drawing them. All he wants us to do is to co-labor and cooperate with him. Our part is very small. That's what field laborers and field workers do. They make themselves available to God. We don't have to try to, to figure it all out. Just do our part. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We complicate it so much because we get overwhelmed in our mind thinking, how will I fix all the brokenness of the world? How will I fix the homelessness problem of Orange County? How will I fix the homeless problem of Los Angeles? It's one at a time. It's every person being available to do our part. And then God takes that and he multiplies our efforts to manifest his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. This is what the people of God has been called to. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Hallelujah. It's something that we can do. We can all say hello. <laughs> we can say good morning. And you don't know the miracle of what that might open up in someone else's heart and someone else's life. Compassion without action is not compassion. 